This first poem is called, um, My Mother is a Social Worker Who Works in a Hospital. My mother is a social worker who works in a hospital. She makes daily visits, checks her charts, shares small talk with the patients as she brightens up their rooms. My mother is a social worker who works in a hospital. She's always the first one at the scene, just like the television doctors, whether in the birthing room at my niece Amanda's arrival or on the operating table, medicine's trapdoor. My mother is a social worker who works in a hospital. My mother translates for the Spanish patients, especially after surgery. She touches their fear with words that can heal. My mother is a social worker who works in a hospital. Surprisingly, there is little blood on her pink uniform, just a day's sweat and dirt. You wouldn't know she was a cleaning lady if you looked in her eyes. My mother is a social worker who works in a hospital. The second poem talks about the very challenging relationship this country has with Mexico, my, my homeland. And we've had this kind of an on-again, on off-again relationship when, when they need uh, uh, cheap labor and uh, to work our fields, our restaurants. And we just had the day without Latinos here in Wisconsin. They're welcomed, but when, uh, when the economy tanks a little bit and things get a little tough, they're, they're the ones that are first blamed. And uh, unfortunately, over the last several years, we've had many millions of families affected by deportation. So this poem is titled, History Lesson. My mother, Elisa, was picketing outside the cattle car trains that were quietly lined up to deport Mexican nationals from Minneapolis, Minnesota in the 1920s. Yes, it was her and three other women, my Aunt Juanita and her two friends, Carmen and Josie Flores. They were afraid to hold up the picket signs that protested the mass deportations, yet were more afraid that worse things would happen if they did nothing. A policeman warned them it would be best if they left. Otherwise, he would be forced to take action. But they stood there, as women have always done, they stood there waving their picket signs like flags as the last train fell into the southwestern sunset. Thank you. <laughs>